In this video we're going to look at the formatting of APA style figures. Um, once again we're going to start at the beginning of the document and you'll see a title page which is properly formatted. It has a running head which is labeled as a running head on the first page. It has the page number in the upper right hand corner, the title of the paper, the name of the student. In this case it's a sample student. I've actually combined work from two different student papers to create this example and it has the institutional affiliation. That is all in the top half of the page. Since there's no author's note, that is all that's needed here on the page. Then we get down to the second page. Now you'll see the running head is continued, but it no longer has the little phrase running head with a colon in front of it. You just have the actual running head now that you're at the paper. You see the title of the paper, Reading Reflection 7. It's not bold, it's just regular type. Um, we begin with the first paragraph, and you'll notice right away in the first sentence, the author here is referencing figure 1. Since this is the first figure they're mentioning, it's automatically numbered 1. If the document had two or three figures in it, they would be numbered in the order in which they're presented in the document. So the student here has called out, I mean has cited or referred to figure 1 here in their document. So therefore at the end of the paragraph they've done what I asked them to do which is to insert a figure callout. Remember callouts are not strictly APA format but they are required by most journals. So that's why I'm having you practice them. Underneath the figure callout you'll see a heading and since this is a first level heading it is bold and centered. There's one thing wrong with this heading though and that is it is ca it's um, capitalized in sentence format that is the first word is capitalized and nothing else. To correct this we would actually capitalize all major words in the title and also we don't use the ampersand the and symbol we don't use that in as as a word we only use that when it's inside of parentheses for in-text citations. Then we look at this paragraph here and we'll notice they've referred to Porter, Polakoff, and Smithson and then you'll notice the second reference still has Porter, Polakoff, and Smithson. Many journals that you read would have the second reference Porter et al. but official APA format is to keep all three citations there, all three authors' names there in the citation. At the end of the paragraph, you can see that the student has referred to Table 1, and then immediately below that placed the table callout. So they referred to their figure first and their table second. This is obviously an abbreviated version of the reflection paper and it ends there and so then we move to the reference list. So you'll notice again these references are formatted with hanging and dent. Um, one thing that many of you had challenges with was the reference for for the Green said article. Um, there were some capitalization problems. After the colon, evaluating should be capitalized. And then the phrase, collaboratives for excellence in teacher preparation. The major words here should be capitalized because this is the name of a formal program. And so therefore, collaboratives, excellence, teacher preparation should all be capitalized there. Um, for these articles that I had you read, if you had questions, about any of their formats for citation. All of them had the citations in a little box on the first page that you could use um, to help you type it in. Now after the reference page, that's where we begin tables and figures. Some of you may be thinking, oh, she mentioned the, frig the figure first, and he mentioned this, the table second, so I should put the figures first. But that isn't true. We always begin with tables on the first page after the um, reference list. 
and then we continue with all of the tables for the paper. So if you've got 10 tables for your paper, you would have 10 different pages, one table on each page. This table is correctly formatted. The table number is first. Then on the next, on the next line underneath it in italics is the table title. Then the table itself. Formatted using the table tool from um, Microsoft Word. Do not type the table using underline um, and spaces or graphic lines. It becomes very unwieldy and very difficult to get it to change the format should you need to do so at any time. Use the table tool um, to create the table. If you don't know where that's at, it's under the insert tab up at the top. Insert table right here and then you tell it what size of a table you want. Okay. Now after you've finished with all in putting all of your tables, then you place the figures. So here is one student's attempt at a figure. Um, and you can see it's a three-dimensional bar graph. Slight misspelling here with Fitzpatrick, but you'll notice they've got it color-coded um, and they're showing that they read 100% of each of those assigned readings. Now, what the reason I'm showing you this one is that this is the most common error that I see because this is made to look almost exactly like the examples that you see in the APA manual. And what gets confusing about the examples in the APA manual is that since the APA manual is a published book itself, they have to name their own figures so that they can tell you in the book to look at figure 5.7, which would be in chapter 5, and it's the seventh figure or something like that. And those names are all placed at the top in the book, just so that in the table of contents they can tell you which figure is where. But an APA formatted figure is not a published figure. And so the title goes at the bottom underneath the figure. So it's just the opposite of tables. Tables are named at the top. Figures are named underneath. So down here underneath, where this says figure X, which is what you see literally in the examples in the APA manual, you need to actually put the number of the figure. So this is figure 1. Um, in APA, the examples they have, they use figure X because it's not really part of a paper, each of those figures, so you don't know what number it is. And so the X just represents a number. And you number the figures in the order in which they appear in your document. In this document, we only have one figure, so it's figure one. Then we want to put the title. The title, in this case, was actually placed above. So I'm just going to cut that and paste it below. Now, unlike, and I'm going to delete figure one from above there. Nothing is typed above the figures. Everything is typed below it. So we begin with the label. And you'll notice that this is in italics. When we look back up at the table, table one is in plain type. And then the title is in italics in title format. That is, every major word is capitalized. Reading, effort, and report are all capitalized. In a figure, most of that changes. The number of the figure and the name figure is all italicized. The title is on the same line, not on a separate line. It's on the same line with two spaces after that period. It's on the same line and it is formatted with sentence capitalization. That is only the first word of the title is capitalized and then there is a period at the end of the title. Then with figures you can add several notes but those are added as if they are all in the same paragraph. 
So for example, here we've got the name and number of the figure, figure one. Then we have the title, percentage of completed assigned reading. And then we have a note. This bar graph shows the percentage of the required readings I completed for the week, this week. In some cases, if you look at the APA manual, you'll see some examples where the, the notes are quite lengthy. Um, and so that is allowed as long as the notes are necessary. You only want to add notes to your figure caption that are absolutely necessary. So this is the way the figure should look. Um, and so you can use those in the, f in the future and also in your um, evaluation proposal where you'll have at least one figure because you're going to have the logic model.